What's up, Chooms? Patch 2.01 is now live, and there are a lot of little things here. And that's the best part about this patch. It fixes a lot of little things. There's really nothing major. I think the only thing that I would consider to be even slightly major in this list was there was an issue with some save files on the PS5, but they did provide a workaround to people about a week ago for those who were having the issue, and it wasn't something that plagued a ton of people. It was just some people. Um, so we're going to dive into the patch notes this morning. I could say that I'm really happy about one of these things because the car that I was missing for having pre-ordered the Phantom Liberty is now supposedly in. So I should be able to get that when I patch up on the Xbox and load in earlier or later today. Not earlier today. It is early. It's like 530 in the morning. So let's get into this. The patch notes just went live a few minutes ago. Um, so let's dive in. There's some Phantom Liberty specific stuff at the beginning, mostly related to quest updates. So balls to the wall, dog eat dog, fire starter, moving heat, uh, new person, old mistakes, somewhat damage, the killing moon, you know my name. All of these had uh, uh, fixes. What's interesting is a lot of these are edge cases. So as an example, uh, and you know my name, fixed an issue where V could remain connected to the sniper nest, blocking quest progress after repeatedly switching cameras at the end of the sequence. That's a button masher who's just sitting there cycling cameras while the quest is happening and then getting locked because he confused the line of programming. So it's really cool that they're fixing edge cases like that because those are not cases that affect the average ordinary majority of players. They're just things that are going to be weird issues that crop up when people do crazy things and that's one of the things i always like to come back to when people want to try to nitpick uh, a game that has 20 million people playing it you're gonna have edge cases but that doesn't mean that it's happening for the majority of people um that looks like some uh, additional Phantom Liberty stuff. Quest in Open World, Automatic Love has a distortion effect that's now fixed, and Ghost Town uh, is now fixed. Gig Breaking News has a fix where Ted's car will now spawn properly. Going Away Party wasn't possible to get in the car with Flavio because it spawned underground. Uh huh, uh huh. Same thing with Lord Give It the Lord Take It Away. And then Killing in the Name. Looks like they fixed an issue with the Bartmoss Collective website wasn't visible and a quest unfinished due to block clue scanning. Playing for time and space oddity. Cool, cool, cool. The heist. Uh, fixed an issue. These are no longer Phantom Liberty. Okay. On the heist, uh, there was an issue with Jackie not being present in front of the afterlife. I've never seen that. And V riding the elevator and falling through. Never saw that either. Prophet Song fixed an issue where completing the quest could cause the police system to turn a blind eye to V's crime. The Ripper dock at the plague sent the driver's seat from the passenger seat. Jackie would return to the noodle stand. These are edge cases again. Um, okay. Fixed an issue where some iconic weapons wouldn't appear on the wall of stash in V's apartment. I need to check this because we were talking about this the other day. I was in my stream and Bubble Annie was saying, hey, what about your stash wall? And I was like, I haven't checked my stash wall. I went back to my stash wall and only two weapons are showing up. So I was like, what is going on with that? So I'm going to go check my stash when I get into the game tonight. Um, gameplay wise, made it possible to properly switch to arm cyberware cycling through the weapons. That was something that people had complained about earlier. You could get to it through opening up the radial menu but not through cycling through. Address an issue causing V to become invulnerable to all damage. And the wrecked NCB cruiser without wheels won't be patrolling the streets anymore. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, PCB, PCB, PC specific things. Um, the UI could show controller inputs when playing on mouse and keyboard. That's been fixed. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the PS5 corrupted save fix. Um, which is specifically related to people, in, uh, and the um, issue is related to increasing the maximum save file size limit. Uh, it won't fix the issues of saves from before the update, so that's important to understand. Miscellaneous, uh, various crash fixes, vehicle radio volume has been adjusted. That was the big one that a lot of us were asking for, so I'm glad that they did that because one of the things that I love about driving around right now is listening to music because they've got all this amazing music in the game. But it, the volume was always a little low, so they've adjusted that now. And here's the one I was talking about earlier, the basilisk. Um, the sound effects for the basilisk were missing. And I noticed that when I was doing the quest with Pan Am last night, so that's if that's the one I'm thinking of. That was the basilisk, right? That's the, that's the thing you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fix an issue with the player could earn an infinite score in Trauma Drama. I haven't tried Trauma Drama yet. Um, Growl, Star and, Growl FM and Dark Star websites are now visible. 
Um, okay, okay. The song history by Gazelle Twin and Trash Chain will now be disabled with the copyright music option is turned on. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that they caught that because my first, the, the first two streams I did and the first video I uploaded all got flagged for having that history for having that history song in it. Thankfully, I was able to go into YouTube and just mute the song. So that it muted it out of my streams and my video. But it's cool that they caught that because that was kind of annoying. Um, fixed an issue where ray tracing wasn't casting shadows on hair. Players who pre-ordered Phantom Liberty didn't get the Quadrasport R7 Vigilant when I'll receive it. Thank you very much. Woo, woo, woo. Um, and then several improvements and changes to Ukrainian localizations. Uh, there was one in here. Let's find it real quick. It was a Phantom Liberty one. And i got to find out if I can find where it went now. Um, they specifically mentioned the doors on the on the on the train not opening, and I actually saw that because I was in the middle of combat, and I had Songbird with me. We're trying to get on the shuttle, and we can't because the doors won't open. And I ran back two or three times, and then one of the times when I turned around, it's on the live stream. We turned around, and the door was open, and it was like what? Um, and I haven't seen too many issues with visuals, uh, personally. Um, I know I crashed my bike into a market stand the other day, and the explosion caused a bunch of shaders or something to go crazy because all of a sudden all these items on the screen started flashing like crazy and all I had to do was restart, uh, reload, not restart, but reload the game on the Xbox and that fixed it. And I saw the same issue when I was doing one of the Pan Am quests. I think it's Riders on the Storm where that, you know, that big storm is coming in and you're rescuing Saul and all the clouds in the storm were flickering crazily. It's in the video, you can see it. And all I had to do was just reload the game. Um, not not reload the whole client, but just reload a quick save, um, and it fixed it. So those are cool. Um, and I had one crash through all of the Phantom Liberty DLC, and it was when I was casting... Uh, I can't remember which quick hack it was, but I was casting a quick, honk, a quick hack on a turret. And when the turret exploded, I caught the exact moment it happened, because when the when the VFX kicked off to do the explosion, we, the explosion started, and then it just froze. And, and I had to do a, a hard... A hard reboot of the of the game client, not my Xbox. So just little things here and there. Um, I think for me, I was missing the car from the pre-order, um, so that was really cool. And um, being able to see some visual effects are going to be good to see get get uh, fixed. So I'll be logging in to patch up here in a moment and cruise around and check out the. I want to check out the new car and I want to check out the vo the audio. Uh, volumes with the new radio stations. All this sounds really good. So patch 2.0 live now, um, rolling out across all platforms. Uh, so depending on when you view this, it should be out by the time you guys watch this. Because by the time I get this recorded, etc., uploaded, it'll be like an hour later. So like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. And I will see everybody in the next video or live stream, which happens daily at 11 a.m. Central Time. Check out the Discord as well. Links are down below. See you next time, Chooms. Stay safe in Night City.